Welcome back to news. Halfway through the week. Let's get into it. A major fire broke out in London on Monday, leading to firefighters evacuating 80 people from the building. The cause of the fire was believed to be flammable insulation used in the building. No, dex no deaths have been recorded thanks to 225 firefighters that responded to the call. So far, there's no official statement on how much has been damaged. Now, let's send it off to Adrian. Are you someone who loves to travel or learn about new places? If so, you're probably interested in visiting Panama. There will be a school trip during June of 2025. Use the QR code to RSVP for the parent meeting on Thursday, September 12th in room 1238. Contact Ms. Stelp at her school email with any questions. Attention all freshmen, elections for student government are out this week. Stay on the lookout for class president, vice president, press secretary, and senator campaigns. Voting begins Thursday morning and ends on Friday after block eight. Good luck to all candidates. Interested in buying a yearbook? They are currently selling for $60 and will go up to $65 by September. By September. Make sure you get your yearbook, Millers. The Jewish Student Union is currently looking for a club sponsor and looking to recruit new members. The Jewish Student Union plans to have their first meeting later this month. For more information, contact Max Arnold at his school email. Matching sets of dinosaur footprints have been found in Africa and South America. Paleontologists have found over 206 footprints from the early Cretaceous period in Brazil and Cameroon. The footprints are said to span more than 3,000 miles and were preserved in ancient mud that were once alongside the rivers of the supercontinent Gondwana. Now let's stomp over to meetings. There will be a DECA call out meeting on Wednesday, September 4th. The meeting will be done virtually through Google Meet. If you're interested, email Mr. Milby for more information and for a link to the meeting. Best Buddies will be holding their first meeting today at 2.30 in room 2209. Please send an appointment pass to either Karen Meyer or Amy Hensley if you'd like to attend. If you're a student who does not have release and is attending the Leo Club meeting, request a pass from Mrs. Smith from before noon Friday, August 13th. There will be a call-out meeting for students against cancer on Wednesday, August 28th during Block 8. Send an e-hall pass to Ms. Mrs. Osborne for 2.40 p.m. if you're interested. Cheer call-out meeting will be held on September 3rd at 6 in the Junior Senior Cafe. Trials will be held on the 10th, also at 6 in the Community Center. The FCA club will meet on Friday, September 6th in the main gym from 2.55 to 3.40 p.m. Please request an e-hall pass from Ryan McCauley at, at 5 5th if you want to attend. There will be a bowling team informational meeting this Wednesday, August 28th at 2.40 in room 3112. Request a pass to Mr. Hartman if you wish to attend and email him if you have any questions. Interested in joining the Tabletop Gaming Club? Fill out the QR code before the first meeting on September 10th. That's a wrap on news. I'm only here for the lunches. Speaking of lunches, let's check them out. Sports time. Sports was just brighten up my day. I agree. Let's get into it. Your Miller Boys soccer team hosted the NHS Showcase last weekend. The Millers played Louisville St. Xavier on Friday, and it ended in a 1-1 to -one tie. They played Okemos on Saturday and won 1-0. to Congrats to Caden Rice and Jose Rodriguez for scoring our two goals. They'll be playing for Buff Jesuit tomorrow at home. Show out and support your Millers. The girls' golf team placed first at the Center Grove Invitational last weekend. The Millers scored 306 ahead of Westfield and Floyd Central, who tied for a score of 312. Olivia Fowler tied for 6th place with a score of 73, and Olivia Anderson tied for 8th with a score of 74. Catch them at the Hall of Fame Classic at the Legends Golf Club this Saturday. Your Miller Cross Country teams opened up their season on Friday with the Boys and Girls Hokum Carum. Congrats to Banner Barnes and Ainsley Applegate for taking the win, John Lives and Riley Flynn for taking second, and Brinkley Cooper and Ronnie Neal for taking third. Both teams have their county meet this Saturday morning at White River Elementary. Good luck, Millers. Last Friday, your Millers varsity football team took a victory over Mount Vernon. Our players walked off the field with a final score of 43 to 24. Nice job, Millers. On Monday afternoon, Danny Jansen made, the, made MLB history by being the first player ever to play for two teams in the same game. On June 26, Jansen was playing for catcher for, for the Toronto Blue Jays when their game against the Boston Red Sox got postponed to Monday due to weather. Since the game was only in the second inning, the game would be picked up right where it left off. Jansen got traded to the Red Sox in the time between the two games, and when the game resumed Monday, he stepped onto the field in the Red Sox uniform, making him the first player to play for both teams in the same game. Now, let's hit it over to sports tonight. For sports tonight, JV Volleyball will play at Garen today at home at 6. JV Soccer will play at Avon at home at 6 as well. And the girls varsity volleyball team will play Garen at home at 7. And the girls varsity soccer team will finish out the night with, with a match against Avon at 7.30. Show out to support your Millers. Man, that was a lot of stuff. Well, it's over now. We'll see you soon, Millers. Peace. Peace.